This week, the question comes from Gavin Blenkins, who has written, what are the pros and cons of installing a bigger intercooler setup? Well, Gavin, our diesel expert, Andrew Limeroth from Barrima Diesel can answer that for us. like anything, any sort of accessory, do you have the need you've got to ask yourself? Of course you've got to have a turbo diesel. Some people funnily enough actually ask about intercooling but they don't even have a turbo. So you do need a turbo. Why you would install an intercooler of course would be to give you the ability to increase a bit more power and get a bit more oxygen to the engine so that you can burn the fuel a little bit more efficiently. Depending on the model vehicle you might have a top mounted intercooler and that would of course mean you've got a bonnet scoop model type of car. They're a little bit questionable as to the efficiency of those types of intercoolers. So they certainly actually do quite well with upgrades. You've got to remember, you've got a very tiny slot trying to get a lot of air in there. So they really aren't the most efficient type of intercooler design to start with. Probably if you're going to do that type of an upgrade, you'd want to definitely make sure you've got electric thermo fans running so that you can actually get air to pass over it efficiently. If it was a front mounted intercooler, they're probably still the best. Up the front means you've got a good profile of air going over the intercooler. Lots of air means it gets kept cool. If the intercooler's cool, you've got a denser charge going into the engine. Denser charge of air, of course, means you can then put more fuel in to burn, and that's how you get the power. So one thing people do forget in the end, Intercoolers don't give magical power. The fuel that gets added after the intercooler is what gives the magical power. So something to sort of think about when you are doing an upgrade, that you may slightly gain economy, you might slightly lose some when you put it on an intercooler. So really like anything, check your need at first. If you need that sort of extra power, then go ahead. But if you're gonna do it, make sure you do it once and do it properly and probably put as big as you can actually get.